hello everyone so I'm back today I'm showing you how to clean chitlins Thanksgiving coming up Christmas coming up and New Year's coming up and everybody's gonna want those chitlins but a lot of people don't know how to clean chitlins but today I'm gonna show you how to clean chitlins I like to buy the chitlins in a red bucket I really don't buy the other chitlins because seem like it's kind of a little bit too 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 much for me so what we're gonna do we're gonna take the chitlins out and we're gonna put them in the sink just like this I have two buckets I'm doing so this is my second bucket take them a loose Drain this water out right here because we don't want that water right there. Okay? And what we're going to do, we're going to use hot water on them. And what it's going to do, it's going to loosen up the skin that we're going to have to pull off. You're going to let it sit in the hot water. And I do it like this here. And I have it in hot water. This wa My water in my sink gets very, very hot. Okay, so what I do, I have it sitting in hot water. This is hot water. And so what the hot water is going to do, is going to loosen up the skin where it's easy to pull off. So what you would do, you'll have this chitlins like this. Now you see all of this right here. Now you know all this here have to come off. Okay, so there's two sides to it. You have this side right here and then this is going to have to be pulled away so what you do you find the part that needs to be pulled away there it is see this see how this is see how that loosens up like this you pull this away all this has to come off all of it and you pull it off just like this and you go back because you have a lot more to go and you come back here all around the lining the edge of it and you pull it off and you pull it away and this is where you know you're gonna have good clean chitlins pull it all away just like this and see how I'm doing this here you go back here and you pull it off and you pull all this here away just like this and make sure you go through there and you're gonna pull it off really good and you clean this is how you clean chitlins sometime I remember a long time ago I was doing some chitlins and I was really young I was like in my 20s and I've never cleaned chitlins before a day in my life. And I'm not playing with you. So, I had fixed chitlins, ham, turkey, greens, candy yams. I fixed it all. And I had potato salad. I had everything to go to it. And then all of a sudden, we was all sitting down eating. And I kept wondering why them chitlins kept having look like clabbered milk. A lot of it. Right? So my family then was all sitting down. We was watching the Dallas game. And they said, Deborah, how long it took you to clean them chitlins? I said, what you mean, clean chitlins? I said, uh, I ain't clean no chitlins. I just took and put them in the pot. Boy, everybody must have died. Back that then, they didn't have this here in the bucket. They had it come in a plastic bag, had guts, boo-boo, everything all in it and stuff. And I kept wondering why am I keep dipping out of all this stuff all out them chitlins. And it was white stuff coming all out of it. And I kept saying to myself, why in the devil all this stuff right here coming all out? And that's what it was. It was boo-boo. I didn't know. I didn't know what was what was that in there. And I just took it with a grain of salt. Everybody was good. After then, 
I learned how to clean chili. It's not very hard once you do it and things. And make sure you go back and get all these little pieces and everything on there. People always talk about, oh, them chili stink so bad. Well, the reason why they stink so bad is because you did not clean them good. Okay, and you're going to have two buckets. The two buckets that you have, one is for... Uh, one that they that they came in I always keep you one available and things because if you keep you one available you can go back in now and you can discard and put the where you pull the skin i'll put it in there you take this right here you go through there with some water with the water wash it off really good you know, you have to wash it off and clean it off and stuff to make sure you get off any type of residue. This is hot water I'm using in case it wants to come up again and something comes up on it and things because you can go through there and check it and look at it before you discard it and make sure it's really, really clean and you you sit there and you do this here and you look at it and stuff and make sure everything is cleaned off of it. And you're going to wash it off and clean it up. And this is the bucket I have as a clean bucket to put it in. Okay, so what we're going to do, I'm going to find one that's really, really bad. Now this one right here is what I call really, really bad. Now you see all this all up in here? and things so you come back through here take this here from there find out where the skin is at pull it like this pull it just like this here just pull it off because you're going to have all this here it's going to have to come off see that see how that's coming off and you're going to pull all of this off and you're going to keep pulling it Till you get it all right. Now chitlins take a while to clean. So best thing to do is always have you some good music on. Or get you somewhere and have a TV and sit down in front of that TV. With your pan. With your good movie on. And clean. Get you somewhere you know. Because chitlins take a while to clean. And I'm not playing with you. Okay, we're coming down to the part that had all that gook all on it. Okay, see? See this right here? Look at this. See? And there goes some skin right there. And it was pulling a loose off of there. Most of it gone all off of there when I was pulling it. See that? See all this right here? You got to go back in there and pull all that off. See all of this right here? Look. See? See it? Go back in now. Pull that off. Because that got to come off. You don't want to have none of that mess all on your chitlins. Because that's why people house stinks so bad. Because they don't be to clean their chitlins good. And I'm real funny now since I found out about cleaning chitlins and stuff. I get a fickle about it. My oldest daughter, she cleans chitlins really, really good. And I like how she clean them because she washes them and cleans them off very well. I used to have them cleaning chitlins when they was little children and stuff. And they would clean the chitlins and everything and stuff for me. Throwing the, 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 the skin and stuff all on itself. That's why my son stopped eating chitlins when he was young. Because we was over in Europe. And in Europe, we get it. And they was, they was some horrible chitlins. They wasn't right. They had all everything all in it. And stuff. And uh, here go one real big one. See this one? It's going to come out the bucket looking like this. So all the time, start at the end. Find your end you want to start at. 
And then just start pulling it. Pulling it. Pull it just like this here. That's how you do it. Pull it just like this here. All I bought was two buckets. You're not going to get that much out of it. You'll probably get about one bucket. Because it looked like it was full. But by the time you clean these chitlins and everything, you're not going to have that much in there. I'm serious. You're not going to have that much at all. Now, I am going to cook these chitlins up. But today, I just want to show everyone how to clean chitlins. And that's it. And uh, if some of them parts going to be left on now, like this, don't worry about it. If it's on now, don't try to save it. Leave it alone. Because it, it's, it's no good. Just leave it alone. It's just little bitty pieces and stuff all like this. Like this. Uh, so we're just going to go through there. And we're cleaning it. I'm going to go back through here and I'm going to check it to make sure. See how it turned out? See? See how it's turning out? That's really nice. And you're going to go back through there. You're going to pull off these little parts like this. If you see it on there. Because you always, when you cook, you cook with love. And that's how you do it. You go back, you check your chitlins. You make sure it's nothing on now. You take it off. I used to cook for this. Every time I cooked chitlin, I had one client. Boy, she used to ask for chitlins every time I cooked them. One time I had pig feet, hog maw. Had everything in there. And stuff. Cause when I season it up, I season it up good and stuff. So let me see what this here is. Let me make sure I got all this here off of here. Cause I don't want nothing left on there. Yeah, it's all off. It's nothing but skin. Okay, so I wash them just like this. You wash them, wash them off really good. And this is how you clean your chitlins, okay? So I'm going to go on and clean these chitlins up. I'm going to go ahead on and clean these chitlins on up. And I'll be back and show you how to season them up.